welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a very exciting video. As you can see by the title, I am unboxing the new iMac. Oh, 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 I can't live without you. Oh, oh, oh. I am not a tech channel. This isn't what I usually do, although I do have a few other unboxings, which I will leave down below. Um, I have an iPad, iPhone, MacBook. I'm pretty sure maybe a camera as well so I will leave them down below so if you are here for that um I do have some more but my channel is mostly fashion beauty and lifestyle anyway without further ado let's just kind of talk a little bit so I decided to get this new iMac because I've wanted one for quite a while I just wanted a bigger screen something a little bit better for editing uh, editing videos, editing photos, and then I took quite a long break on YouTube. I was so busy, and I just, every single day, I was like, oh, I just want to get back to it, and I think getting this computer has just, like, given me that motivation to get back into it, as, like, sometimes you just need a push. I ended up going with the base model in the end, because I couldn't justify spending a little bit extra for the ports and touch ID, that kind of thing. I just... It's not like a necessity for me. For the kind of work that I'll be using it for, it will mostly be video editing and I use like 1080p, it's not like I shoot in 4K. So I decided to go for this one. I was thinking about getting just the older 21 and a half inch, but I thought the 24 would be better, better value for money as well and all of that jazz. So I have gone for the silver. I was really debating going for like the pink. The pink probably would have been what I went for, but I didn't like the color on the back. And I also thought, eventually when I do sell it, I'm gonna struggle to resell it. Well, not struggle necessarily, but having a silver computer is always gonna be easier than trying to sell a pink computer. With the accessories, I thought if any of them get broken or lost, it's harder to gonna, it's gonna be harder to replace the pink because everything is color coordinated with these iMacs, which is so nice. I picked up a few different accessories to go with it, which I will show you in the actual unboxing. Anyway, without further ado, I've already said that, I feel like, in this video. Let's get on to the actual unboxing and I really hope you enjoy it. Let's open this thing up. The bed is kind of like half made, so let's just ignore that. This was the biggest space that I had. Obviously, I have got the silver, so everything is matching to that. That is so satisfying. Push the two arrows aside and the box opens up. Here is the computer itself. It's, I can see the little hello thing through under the dust screen. I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to get on to all of the little like accessories and stuff and we'll talk about the computer. Okay, it's surprisingly light. I've seen so many people say it's light, but like, I mean, it's heavy still, but it is light. Right, I'm going to move this so I won't break it. literally smells so good. So we have got the magic keyboard. I'm really excited to open this up. It feels so nice. Everyone has really mixed opinions on this. I personally just love the feeling of it. Um, I have just got the one with the lock. I didn't want to spend an extra 50 pounds on touch ID. I didn't think it was that worth it. It's only me using it so I don't feel like I need it. I can just type in my password or leave it undone most of the time so yeah I do it does now have a lock though so you can just lock your screen from there you then have the um cable this is a USB-C to lightning um I'm presuming this is for charging this if you did have the pink this would be pink next up we have the magic mouse one of the cables this is like the um actual cable that plugs into the wall this is just like a normal cable and then you've got the actual power brick this is pretty hefty this again is the like knotted like rope kind of thing and then it's got the bit that plugs into the computer again if yours was pink or blue or whatever this would be blue or pink or whatever and your stickers so because i've got the silver i just have one sticker if you had pink you'd have a light pink and a dark pink and 
etc etc and again it's all very customized to what you have so all of my instructions are of the silver if you had blue it would be blue it's all very color coordinated this whole thing which i love okay so that is everything from um well i got it from john lewis but apple um i then also bought a little something second hand um off of ebay i didn't want to pay full amount for this because I wasn't super sure if it's something that I definitely wanted or needed. The Magic Trackpad. So yeah, I got this secondhand. This is the Magic Trackpad 2. Um, but yeah, I got this secondhand because I didn't want to buy it like full price because it was so expensive. Um, I then also got, because I went for the lowest storage, I wanted to get a new hard drive that I can just kind of keep plugged in. So this is by the brand Seagate, I think, and I just got a two terabyte hard drive. I know I'm gonna use way more and it's such a cheaper option to get a external hard drive. A little plastic thing that you put in your keyboard and you put in the trackpad so it keeps it together and it's got this silicone bit on the bottom to stop it from sliding and that's just a really good way of keeping them together keeping them a bit more organized and also if you're using it from like not at your desk it's then really useful because you can use the trackpad it's like unwrapping a brand new one um it has had a little bit of use but nothing dramatic it's weird because you want to press on it but it's like apple so it doesn't um so on the top it's just got the slide for on and off so it's in this lovely dust screen oh. so shiny so new um love it love the whole vibe like everything together just looks so good like that is something apple just know how to do they can design something to look really good okay let's do this one it's white on the bottom it has got little sticky bits but and then yeah this doesn't fit this <laughs> so i'm gonna have to order a new one of them i realize i never really kind of explained what that was but basically um it doesn't fit the keyboard because the keyboard is a redesigned style and it doesn't fit this new style with the more rounded edges so if you had the older style keyboard it would fit this perfectly um i just happen to have the new one and it's not been made to fit that which is really disappointing because it would have been genius but yeah it didn't fit they do package everything up so nicely don't they it just feels like such a luxury being able to open it so yeah, this is the um, actual plug. Okay, we are sitting at my desk now. As you can see, here it is. So let's take off this dust thing. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm hoping you can't see too much of a reflection. Anyway, I just thought I would say, having it in silver, I'm actually really glad of my decision. Um, I was kind of thinking, oh, do I wish I'd got a colourful one? But looking at it, it does just look so sleek and so nice. So yeah, I'm really pleased about that. This mirror is probably gonna be moved, by the way. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's stunning. It's actually stunning. Oh god, I need the Wi-Fi password. Let's hope I've still got it saved. So, I'm one of those people who uses iCloud, but not all the time. I don't like all of my photos from my phone or my computer. I don't like my music being um, shared over either. But I want both of these to have the same thing. So let's do from a Mac. It smells so new. It smells so good. 
Okay, so I'm getting them transferred over. I actually just, oh my god, I've just seen how dirty this cable is. Um, I forgot that I can charge this computer from here because it's USB-C. So that's really cool. Okay, everyone, it is the next day. Um, I've basically got everything pretty much set up. Sorry if you can hear my hard drive going, um, I'm trying to download Sims. <laughs> so yeah, here is my computer, I'm just gonna zoom in. I had to do an update, so that's kind of taken place today. I ended up going with the pink background. Most of you will probably know this, but basically the different colours all like match. So if you want for the, bl the blue, sorry, the green, you've then got like the green at the top and all the highlights and stuff are green and same with all of the other colours. Um, this is what mine came with, but I'm not a fan of that. So I've gone for the pink and yeah, love that. I've downloaded pretty much everything that I need to download and deleted a few bits that just are taking up storage. But yeah, it's going good so far. It's so strange and so nice to have it. I don't really have much else to like say to you about this because I haven't been able to use it yet. Um, but so far, it's been really good. I'm excited to get editing on it. I'm gonna be doing that tonight and it's all just quite exciting really, isn't it? Just getting new tech is like so nice, so. Hey, I thought I'd give a little update because, you know, I haven't really talked about that. I am filming this on, what's it called? Photo booth, so this is the camera quality. I do have a window behind me, so I'm quite backlit, but I think it's really good quality. I have been using this in all of my videos so far, so that I'm thinking is really really good also the sound quality is really good as well especially for doing like the voiceover bits usually I'd attach my mic but I don't feel like I need it I feel like it's quite good sound quality I had a panic when I first started using it because my mouse and my trackpad were like when I was using it they kept like flitting about like the arrow on the screen and I was really like oh god are they faulty um but then I did an update and they've been fine ever since like that was literally just the one day and I've done the update and now it's fine so um if any of that's happening for you just update it I was also surprised because everything has just worked really smoothly I did have a really long wait time to upload YouTube vi a YouTube video the other day but that's probably Wi-Fi um it's so nice editing on such a big screen um I'm not used to not being able to minimize a video to be really small because on my MacBook Pro, I can minimise it like a video on YouTube. I just have it in whatever corner I want. Whereas on here, I have to like take the whole thing and just like minimise it to the side. So that's a bit strange to get used to. Yeah, I have been loving it. I haven't been using my mouse at all. I won't lie to you. I'm so glad I got the trackpad because I've used it so, so much. And I find it just so much easier to use a trackpad. Uh, especially when editing. Because I can just kind of just... It's just all there and I can just slide my fingers across. Um, and yeah, editing photos as well has been really nice and I just love the whole white theme of it all. I used to be the one who preferred the white edges on phones, so to have this, it just it's just so nice. Everything has gone so smoothly and I am really loving it, so yeah, highly recommend. Love it. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the little unboxing and I mean, here's my computer and yeah, I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye.